Hi everyone. Um, today is my birthday. It's a very exciting day. I've got loads of new art materials and I thought I would just do a little video, just show you what I've got, talk you through it a little bit and then um, sort of explain what I'm going to do with regards to using all the different things. So my first little package is very rustly. This is... Um, these are um, Polychromos pencils. They're just replacements for the ones from my tin that I've used up. Funnily enough, they're green. And um, these come from um, the um, Upside Down Coloured Pencil Shop. I can't get it in shot. There we go, Coloured Pencil Shop. Um, so uh, they are, um, she's um, a fantastic um, supplier. Um, she's um, an artist herself, so she knows how to look after materials. She's getting more and more things in each um, quite often too. Now this is a really interesting one. This is a blender pencil, but it is actually a Stedler Design Journey blender pencil. Sorry, let's pop that so you can see it. So I'm quite looking forward to trying that, and I thought I might do a video at some point. I'm not promising it will be soon. Trying out different blending materials. Now I realise that a lot of people have done these but I don't think anyone's tried this pencil so I thought that might be interesting. I also got a second blender pencil which has rolled away um, somewhere but it was a Derwent one. It may turn up in a minute. So this, um, in this box I've got more pencils. Now these are interesting. They're not Stabilo, they just put them in this box. These are from Jackson's Art who uh, are a local art shop to me and these are um, these are Holbein's and I picked out some various colours to try. I've got this tin of Holbein's and I just wanted some more to try um, before I'm thinking about getting the big set. So I got a few pretty greens because I'm always using greens. I got a navy blue because none of my pencil sets have a good navy blue so I thought that would be useful and I got some beiges and browns from houses um, ready for using in Worlds of Wonder. So that's those. So um, those will be interesting and fun to try out and I will do a review of those. Um, I'll do a picture using those and some of the pastel ones to try them out and see how they are. Now these pens, these are Suzanne Wimpany Various Fault that I've got these um, gel pens. I don't know why they're in a plastic bag. These are two shades so that it says they look different on dark or light paper so that's going to be fun all these different shades of color and also this set which are a, a more um, mellow color of metallic pens so I'm going to be trying those out what I'm going to do is I've already decided that the back cover of Worlds of Wonder I'm going to try these out so I shall do a video where we um, try all these out so it's going to be great fun I also got some of these. These are the Bambino colouring crayons that um, Johanna Basford has talked about a lot. And we actually have metallic ones in here as well, silver and gold. And I will again be doing a um, video of those. They come with this adorable picture, which I'm afraid I'm not going to be colouring. It's not quite up to Johanna's standards, but it, uh, it has another picture there as well. I don't know any littleies who would colour that, sadly. Now I also got a lovely collection of books, loads of Johanna books, so I got this one. Now this is a really interesting one, this is the Jungle Book, um, but this is Roger Kipling's The Jungle Book, but Johanna has done the illustration as you can see. There's a little bit on the um, spine and a lot on the back, and then inside there is a, this book belongs to, that's the same as in Magical Jungle, and then there are a few other places. There's a toucan from Magical Jungle as well. I'm not sure if there are any original pictures in here. That's the nymph from Magical Jungle or whether they're all um, similar. The paper is as you would expect in a in a fictional paperback book. There's uh, the lovely lizard. Um, so a snake, look at that. So I'm not sure whether it would be something that I would want to colour but actually it's a story that I'm not sure I've ever read. So uh, Oh, that's so cute. That's definitely a new picture. Very, very cute. I'm not sure I've ever, and lovely tiger, look. I'm not sure I've ever read it, so I'll probably um, have a read of it at some point. It'll be fun to read and uh, have a look at Johanna's pictures. This gorgeous little frog look. That's not one on that page. It's interesting. 
they're on most new chapters that's a long chapter isn't it there's some cute little fish uh, the alligator or crocodile I probably said and I probably didn't read it let's have a quick look a lovely um, oh gorgeous elephant I do love the elephants I think most of these are out of magical jungle to be honest apart from that one monkey looked a bit different cute little butterfly snail it's it's lovely so that's a nice oh and uh, there we go and it's got uh, some um, advert for Johanna's books in the back so that's a nice book to have I think now I also got this one now this is a book that I have got already and completed and I wanted a new copy and what I'm hoping I can do is do some tutorials from this book as well as obviously complete it for myself but I think there's lots of nice little bits like these where I can do you a nice little tutorial and uh, bees and things I thought would be quite fun so that's that one I will do a flip through of that as well just for anyone who hasn't got it so they can see what to expect but that's that will come I also got a second copy of this. This is another book of Johanna's that I've got one copy of that I finished, but I haven't um, done a second copy. So I'm looking forward to that one too. So that will be lovely. And I got a second copy of this. Now I have, I'm so close to finishing the first one. I've got about 30 pages left. So I really wanted another copy. Maybe I'm just greedy. I don't know, but I was very lucky. And, uh, I got a copy of this. I asked my husband to buy me Lost Ocean and his brain left his head and he bought me Magical Jungle. Now I've got three copies of this. I've completed one. I've got one that I use for tutorials only, not making tutorials but following tutorials. I've got one that I'm just colouring and I've got a spare one. So now I've got another spare one. He did suggest that I might want to do a giveaway with it. I'm not sure. I'm giving that some thought at the moment. We'll see. And I got a second copy of this. My parents and my sister both bought me the same book. But it is a gorgeous book. So uh, I'm sure I'll have fun with it. And I had this book. Now this is a very interesting looking book that my parents picked for me. Um, it's got, basically it's got lots of techniques inside it. And then um, it shows you pictures and how they've used those techniques in those pictures and you can see there's all sorts of different styles I did joke with them that uh, by the end of the afternoon I'll be able to do a horse like that mm, but, <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to having a look at it reading it and then sort of transferring the techniques into something that I might be able to teach you guys and all, my husband bought me this one so this is another um large book with uh, techniques and various different things inside so I'm looking forward to that as well um, look it shows you how to do fruit for example which I have been doing lately actually so uh, that's fun so we'll have a go what I'll do is I'll have a look at these I might do some reviews of these as well maybe anyway that's me it's just a short video I oh, just hit the tripod sorry it's just a short video to sort of show you all my um, lucky how lucky I've been and uh, what sorts of things let's put them the right way out for you what sorts of things to expect to see me doing in the future so thank you for watching excuse my excitement it's it's lovely having all sorts of new things and toys to play with and uh, and happy coloring